Okay. Greetings and salutations, everybody. This is Invisible Gaming Style. It's talking at you from the dark side of the moon. This is the bonus video I uh, promised you before. After I finished uh, Aragami Nightfall uh, DLC. And to finish off everything with this uh, video, in order to, to move on, let's finish off with Aragami Developer Diaries by David Leon. Christmas 2013. Path of, Path of Shadows, the master's degree project we've been working for the past year, just won the best student game award at Game Lab, the biggest video game festival in Spain. It's only a 30 minutes prototype, 30 minute prototype, but the shadow creation and shadow teleportation mechanics make the game a blast to play. Choosing a cell shade shading art style was a good idea there's no way we could compete against other games with a realistic aesthetic and only five people in the team i told you this was a two uh, a double a game not a double a the whole team had a meeting and talked about developing the game concept into a full complete commercial project we don't know anything about business, but we are young and full of passion. No mortgages to pay, mortgages to pay, no commitments, it's now or never. This was supposed to be the video, the file, developer's diaries, that I finish off with it, the uh, night uh, full DLC. Sorry, I forgot completely about adding it into the midst of the stream for the Nightfall ending. So, there you go. This is the last bonus file for the game. This is Game Lab uh, 2013 and the team of uh, Aragami. Don't know their names, but at the very least, this is the diary. January 2014. On the three programmers, only three, the three programmers of the original team were crazy enough to establish a new game development studio, Linsworks. The word Lins, Spanish for Linux, the Lynx, comes from an ancient Greek word for light. Because of the animal's bright eyes, it fitted nicely with our protagonist's glowing robes while keeping a link to our Spanish roots with the reference to the Iberian Linux. There is no art team. We won't go there is no art team. We won't go far with the team full of programmers. At least we've got the SFX and music covered. I traveled with my girlfriend to Sweden for New Year's Eve and had the chance to meet the, to, uh, the met Two Feathers, the composers behind the Hammer Watch audio. They are exciting, excited to start working with us on the project. We spent December and January looking for artists to work with us. We are now seven people, three programmers, one concept artist and three 3D artists. We are looking for an office. This is what happens when you are literally making a completely new, fresh off the oven um, development team for a game. Early concepts. These were for Aragami himself, I think. Rio. The robes, uh, the hoodie, the cape, and some uh, samurai looking more like concepts. The first team meeting. <laughs> This is Lin's works, or you could also say the glowing light works. March 2014. 
found an office to finally work together as a team. We've decided on a character design with a stylized figure and ninja vibes. We'll start the 3D modeling next month. Path of Shadows was made entirely in uh, C++. So jumping into Unity 3D was and not having to deal with low-level stuff is greatly appreciated. Um, okay, let's continue. Uh, to deal with low-level stuff is greatly appreciated. I'm the only one with experience in Unity, so I'll spend the next few weeks putting everyone up to speed. We need funding to survive. We are... Uh, so we are talking... Uh, we differ with different uh, publishers to get some funding. There's a plenty of smiles, but nobody in uh, investing in a rookie team with only a student prototype as their pitch. Ouch! Uh, motion capture March 2014. So this is how they started making their uh, animation. Yeah, this is the um maybe xbox move or i'm not really sure what uh, which one is this one is connect they are talking and looking at some concept art um twin souls was the first uh, name of the game pick demo 0 0.01 a work in progress april 2014 first tech demo this was supposed to be how Aragami looked like in the first time. Uh, modeling Yamiko, April 2014. Most likely this is, this is with the 3D Max. As you can see, the people who made the... Those who made the Aragami were very normal humans. Just people who were um, graduates from the college, that's it. May 2014. Aragami has now a 3D body, but we are not really happy with it. The cloth around the neck and the squishy figure <laughs> makes him look like sort of a slug man. <laughs> we'll keep doing fixes until we are happy with the results. Porting the shadow creation mechanism to 3D, uh, 23D is giving me lots of issues. I can't access Unity's source code, so it's really hard to hack into the rendering pipe pipeline but i've found a solution i can simulate the magic sh shadows by using point light lights with a specific value with a shader reads and repaint it as black their approach looks promising Still, no luck finding a publisher or investors. Also, every public aid to video game uh, companies I found requires the studio to have at least two years old and other games uh, released to the market. It looks like Kickstarter campaign could be our way to go until we find a more stable source of income. A publisher, maybe. Once again, the problem with kicking starting and you project as literally um, uh, entrepreneur. This is what Lynx works is for real. A team of entrepreneurs who are trying to do something original and completely new. Original Argami me, me model. <laughs> uh, he is uh, rather slender for an assassin uh, creature like Shadow. That's how bad for the Marking on the clothes. Okay. Testing on Vita. April 2014. Uh, 2014. Twin Souls start demo options quit. Yes, finding a publisher to get some funding is always hard until you go either fund me or Kickstarter so that those who are interested in the project would help you with the fundings. Pre Alpha April 2014. We can progress still. This way, using the uh, Unity 3D engine uh, mechanics. June 2014. The Kickstarter campaign is a plan 
for the 12th of June. That's really difficult. That's a real difficult month. With all the game news sites covering the E3 9th to 12th and the Steam summer sale probably happening in late June to July. But if we get uh, get closer to August, then people... Uh, uh, when people is out on vacation and the KS could probably for, fail, Kickstarter could probably fail. So it's a tough choice. For the moment, we'll st we are uh, stuck with to, to June. And if something goes wrong, we'll try to launch on July. On the development side, the character is moving around, teleporting and creating shadows. And we've got some basic enemy AI. There's no stealth kills yet. Okay but we can record some custom animations for the kickstarter and fake them for the movement uh, for the moment yeah. most of that uh, time is spent working on the materials for the kickstarter campaign and getting ready for the launch edu says we'll get more uh, Edu says we'll get more than a hundred thousand dollars i'm not so optimistic First Tamiko model, Kickstarter trailer. She looks rather more adult than the last uh, version. Still, go, uh, all is good. Alpha gameplay, June 2014. There was still no set killing, just the environment, enemy AI, and uh, model for the character. Uh, uh, Kickstarter exclusive skins. The Ketsugne skin, which was later on turned into an Aragami 2 skin, the uh, Alpha skin, and uh, this weird looking skin as well. All of them with the same pattern of the dragon and the serpent. August 2014. The Kickstarter campaign failed. We tried to rush it, but the Kickstarter craze was already over. We are not a uh, Tim Schofer. And obviously nobody knew about us. So a gameplay video of a prototype with its, uh, stiff animations was obviously not enough to succeed. We get a personal bank loan to keep us afloat for a while. With the Kickstarter campaign out of the way, we can focus on development. All the feedback of, uh, from, cam from campaign backers was outlined for us a backlog of things to improve first things to do is design a new main character we need more human figure to make motion capture animations much better and a less dark aesthetic to make everything stand out a bit more more color so uh aragami gami concept august 2014 the sword, the orange sword, the new cape with the new main character, and no more the dragon style uh, armor, but rather just the content. Algami model, the normal one with the light and the dark one under the shadows. Alongside with the bangle, the bill's bangle. September 2014. I am really surprised with the amount of work uh, they had to go through in order to bring us this beautiful game. The new game model is already so much better than the previous one. We got a personal bank loan to keep us afloat for a while. With the Kickstarter campaign out of the way, we can focus on development. All the feedback, once again, from the campaign because have outlined for us a backlog of things to improve. First thing, things to do is to design a new main character. We need more human figure to make motion capture animation uh, much better and start stick to the uh, to make everything stand out more color. It's literally the same uh, entry, but uh, this is just the only line that's new. Linsworks Office, uh, October 2014. So this is a very small double A studio that was just starting out, and this is how they look like when they are working. Just g uh, new graduates from uh, college trying to make a video game. Amazing. Lighting, lighting change September 2014. 
yes this was worked on during 2014 now it's 2022 wow um engine test is september 2014 for uh, lighting and whatnot December 2014, we just entered a new start up acceleration game BCN sharing space with some other Spanish indies and getting the much needed formation in production, project planning and management, working with the new tools to plan the full project ahead we lost all summer remaking the project from scratch now we just need to focus the game is coming along quite well main mechanics are already in the game and we are adding some shadow powers already we are steering away from the tune graphic and embracing a more stylized art style with specular and other realistic details Get rid of the two point lights while keeping the still shading. I think we are finally finding the game's art style also more light and more color, less boring. <laughs> okay, a new Yamiko Concepts, uh, December 2014. I believe we already took a look on all of this uh, in uh, the final video from Aragami 1, the normal one. The normal concept uh, art book. But yeah, they tried to make her look from a normal village girl into a town uh, girl. Always with the same uh, white uh, hair color. Albinism, albinism, for some reason, is very much uh, liked. Gameplay screenshots, December 2014. This is still very early on. Even the decoration for the camp was different. Gameplay screenshots December 2014 also. I'm not sure what these things are. Maybe placeholders, but this is also the enemy and uh, more environmental imagery. March 2015. The new Yamiko is here. It looks quite a white, uh, a while. It took quite a while to put her into the game, but it was worth it. Such an important character had to be well thought. We wouldn't afford, we couldn't afford to discard another version of her. Wow. Progress working on scenarios is uh, slow as we are still defining the best uh, pipeline to designing a level modeling it and then adding it to the game animation work is going fast with two xbox connect i told you and the playstation eye camera we can track edu's movements and polish them afterwards i visited san francisco for the gc gdc Games done quick, uh, GDQ with that. Uh, I met some publishers and developers. It looks like the game is a graphic interest, is the gathering interest. They are still not uh, committing, committing to anything. Uh, THO. New Yamiko model. This is the one they took as the finishing uh, model in February 2015. I think this is the one that we buy a fish so of buy. Can we see chat again with the enemy? Their light uh, gauntlets and uh, the environment. July 2015. Making the E3 trailer was stressful, but to totally reward it, it was never shown at the show floor, but some media sites picked it anyway we found our work rhythm and the progress is not noticeable there's still lots of stress but at least we are adding new stuff to the game week after week still haven't found a source of funding to support the rest of the development all the grants and aids must be uh, paid back and money runs out in a few months we've got until christmas to find a solution or we'll have to drop the project ouch give please screenshots so this they began having problems uh, by this uh, point but they were still developing the game 
cover system uh, June 2015. The places where you are covered and how the shadow should cover you as well. All of the behind the scenes. December 2015, I uploaded a gameplay video on YouTube and the GameSpot made an article about Twin Souls. The video went viral and the reception was super good. I'm taking this chance to contact some publishers again, take advantage of the buzz. The other teams at the office call us the shadow team because we always work in the shadows. Artists go nuts if we let sunlight come through the windows. Too many screens reflections makes sense. <laughs> PlayStation Europe spoke with us. They really like the project and want to help us out. We'll be able to stay independent and finish the project. Now we just got to deliver a good game. Beautiful. Next. Chapter uh, 1 level design. The player starts right here. Here uh, they meet with Yamiko for the first time. We then uh, shadow leap here to the other uh, pl places. Okay, the same the same thing we already played through. These are all the shadow filled uh, places, I think, or maybe the uh, solid objects. Then we have also here. Yeah, I do remember how I went through this. Nice memories. <laughs> they are. Also, I believe that this uh, here are all the uh, assets they used. Okay. Chapter uh, 2, level design, 2014. You start right in this place. Then you walk and continue on. This is what you call it a uh, designing face. Let me just zoom in a little bit here. Not this is not what I wanted. Uh, give me this here. Here, start the creation. This Um. Okay. Uh, absorb. Cadir. Escalar descending. A site of imaging. Shola. I don't want to uh, continue butchering the language here, but most likely this is because it's Spanish. Go back to being uh, 120 or 130, and also being one So basically, this is how they managed to do the level 2. This is chapter 3 design, also. Very uh, rough uh, placeholders. This is kind of what I work with when uh, working with architecture, but we uh, we focus on more on the buildings, not the landscape itself. Argami Kitten, 2014. Don't really know what's the up of this one. Also, only to, uh, about 10 uh, pages left from the developer's diary. Some uh, chapter 3 inspirations, suggestions. This is, uh, I believe, a Japanese uh, style uh, Shinto temple. That's why I told you, I told you while playing Aragami that it had a very heavy Japanese inspiration, especially with the Shinto gates. Chapter 3 inspiration also. The multiple Shinto gates as well. I told you. 10 more pages to go through. Chapter 4 Design uh, 2015. This is, I believe, in Unity 3D. T posing, uh, path uh, for patrolling, assets. Chapter 4 Design. So, beautiful landscape. Chapter 5 Little Design. Placeholders. Uh, Greenery buildings. You first make the draft and then you start applying 3D models to it. Then uh, NPCs, you posing. Um, this is level 9, the design. I believe this is that uh, the village of uh, yeah, Yamiko because the, we uh, already went through this with the Nine Tails uh, statue, the 
design okay this is chapter 9 level design this is the battle uh, the boss battle with Hikaru how they designed it and uh, where they put placed the uh, characters and everything else in the place chapter 11 a screenshot may 2016 after one year this is the 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 level would we had to climb over the tower to find the uh, one of the transmits if I'm not mistaken. The last two more pages. Final boss fight mock up December 2015. So Yamiko was meant to be the last boss fight regardless. Uh, whether it was the alpha version or the final version. She was always the final boss regardless. 713 screenshots July 2016 Sora with the sword she later gives us and the, the orb of Yamiko that was she held herself to keep herself safe and final page is Lin's works um, kitten logo once again the logo actually uh, gives us the meaning behind the studio name very well Lens works. They said that lens is the links, the glowing eyes of the animal in the night. So this is the background of the night moon. This is the kitten with the light, supposedly from the eyes. That's why it's called lens works. With that, I have officially finished off the final bonus video for Aragami One Nightfall, the developer's diary by David Leon. I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, bonus video and with this I have completely finished the last video at last from the Aragami series Aragami 1, Aragami 2, Aragami Nightfall all are done now I can focus completely on the next project with that being said I hope you all enjoyed uh, reading with me these uh, beautiful diaries they took for me approximately half an hour I thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry about this. This is not uh, necessarily a stream, but rather a short uh, video. Not really short, but regardless. Um, I thank uh, all of my subscribers, new and old. All of my followers and fans, viewers, uh, new, uh, online and offline, returning or uh, completely original. I thank all of my... Uh, friends and uh, family members and um, with that pretty much said this has been invisible with you um, from invisible gaming channel striking at your hearts from the dark side of the moon and i hope to see you in the next videos with that being said invisible sign out peace be upon you all take care stay healthy be careful